How'd you go today? Yeah, no good. What happened? What's wrong? Uh, Texi pulled his shoe when we were when we were jumping. Ah, is he a bit sore? Yeah, he's not really comfortable. Have you tried packing his foot yet? Packing his foot? Do you know how to do it? No. No. Today on Invention, I'm going to teach you how to pack a hoof. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Invention. Good news, Tex is just fine, he didn't pull a shoe, and he's not sore. But, I'm gonna demonstrate how to pack a hoof anyway. So we're gonna start with just some of the tools and stuff you'll need to use. There are a lot of different products on the market that you can use to pack the hoof with. I have three different things here. One is Magic Cushion. The next is this Easy Pack by Finish Line. And the other product I use is kind of an at-home remedy, and it is Epsom salts and Sorna More liniment. I also have uh, vet wrap, duct tape, plastic gloves, a hoof pick, scissors, and diapers, or you can also use sheet cotton. But before I go to the demonstration, let's see an invention tip of the day. My invention tip of the day is the use of Gold Bond or medicated powder. It's great to just sprinkle in your cross country boots before cross country to help prevent any kind of rubs. And it's also great just to sprinkle on their legs after a bath to help their legs stay dry and prevent fungus or any kind of crud that they get. Back to the action. Hi guys, welcome back. Now we're going to pack this hoof. So normally you're gonna not have a hind shoe that comes off, but for all intents and purposes, we're gonna use the hind foot. You might have one that abscesses in the hind, you might have a stone bruise in the hind foot. So either way, it's the same pack for the front or the back foot. So it always helps to get the tail out of the way. So we'll go ahead and wrap this up. It's also important to keep your materials close by so you're not fumbling around for them when you're down holding their feet up. All right, so we'll just start here. Just pick up the hoof. Oh boy. Now some of them like to do that. They kind of pull and whatever, and just wait till he kind of relaxes. Perfect. And what you want to do is clean the hoof out. Make sure it's really clean and really dry. Just use normal hoof pick. Boy. Okay. So I'm going to use the Epsom salts and the Sorna more. If you're using other packing materials, all you do is just fill it up as much as you can. Make sure to pack really deep into the frog and all of this area. So what we'll do here is you'll just pour the Epsom salts on his foot. And you want his foot to be as flat as it can. It's harder with a hind foot because you want it to hold all this stuff. And if you can, you can get someone to help you. Yeah. A little bit more. Perfect. And then what you'll do, you should get this sorna more here, and you'll just pour it all in this so it kind of makes a little soup. Perfect. Just make sure it's all good and packed in, and then you either put your sheet cotton, or what I'm using is a diaper. The diaper is good because it can wrap around the whole foot and you can kind of fasten it. Here, you just wrap the diaper around here. Oops, this goes this way. Perfect. This is what I mean by having your products close by. You don't want to be fumbling around with all this. There we go. Around here. Now next what you want to use is your vet wrap. And what I do is I kind of start here on the side in the back, close to the frogs. I mean close to the heel rather. And wrap around the front. Now 
You don't want to wrap it too, too tight, but you want to make sure it's going to stay on. So I kind of go in a cross motion around here. Good boy, Bo. You want to make sure you get the toe as well. Keep going around until you cover the whole foot. Like that. I'm going to do one more loop all the way around like so. Perfect. And now that you've got it all in, you can put their foot down for a minute, making sure it's dry where they put their foot down. Have your pair of scissors and just cut this fat wrap. Perfect. And then just stick it on. Now, if you're going to be leaving a horse in the stall or turning it out, either way, you're going to want to have some kind of duct tape on here. So what I like to do is I, instead of wrapping the duct tape around, which you can do if you want, I take strips of the duct tape and put it on a wall and kind of make a, a pattern of a patch. And then that way, all you have to do is pull it off the wall and you've got this perfect little piece that you can just stick their foot right in. So you just pick up their foot here. One more time. Let them pull it up, all that jazz. And then just whack it right on here, either way, whichever way you really want to do it. Making sure that it's not touching too much skin. And fold it up in front. And then around the sides. And then when they put their foot down, pull the, there you go. And kind of wrap it around the front. And you've got a good patch. And then what you can do is kind of cut the excess off that's going to be in the way. That way it doesn't stick to everything. Perfect. Then you leave that on overnight or however long you need, you need to leave it on. I wouldn't leave it on more than 24 hours. And you've got a packed hoof. So before we finish up, let's go to a Shramo shout out. Today's shout out goes to Spirit Horse Equine Rescue, located in South Central Wisconsin. These guys' mission is to rescue unwanted horses and educate people in natural horsemanship. You can check out the fantastic work they do at spirithorseequinerescue.org. All right, everybody. I hope you found these tips and tutorials helpful today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us on Facebook or comment below. Good luck. See you next time. There's nothing funny about a lame horse.